Hey, it's Peter here again. Let's continue on organizing our content in Craft. And in the latest video, we created a couple of sub pages. So this time we will see why and when it makes sense to maybe consider moving sub pages into separate documents. In my example, you see uh, the document that we were before and the separate docu document called Sweet Potato. So I will search for the word sweet potato. Okay, I already did before. So you see here, I typed sweet and note the results that I'm getting. At the first place, we have a document and then a couple of pages or sub pages that we created together and then a few blocks. So the way our search prioritization works is that we put document titles to the first place, page titles to the second, and blocks will be the third in the priority list. And you will see a preview as well. As you see in my case, there is the sweet potato um, highlighted. So whenever we search for a word, this is the uh, priority list that we will get. And you might find yourself nested information way too deep into a document. And sometimes you have trouble quickly retrieving it because of this prioritization. What you can consider is actually turn some of these sub pages into um, separate documents. So let me start this with the nutrition. I will simply select nutrition, right click and select the move to new documents option. What this will do is remove the sub page from this document. And if I go back to my organized view, I will see that the nutrition uh, sub page appears as a separate document. So now this way, this will obviously help in the prioritization, but it opens up a lot of other opportunities for me to organize this document in different ways, maybe put them into separate folders. Now let's do the same with all the sub pages. I will simply select them, right click again and move to new document. And if I go back, we'll notice that each of these sub pages become separate documents. So this is how you can reorganize a bit your space when you find yourself nesting too many sub pages into documents or you recognize that you have trouble retrieving key information from sub pages. In the, ne in the next video, we will look at ways to organize documents and how, uh, what kind of additional options we have to move around sub pages, maybe even cards into separate folders and documents. So I hope you find this video helpful and let us know if you have any ideas and questions uh, on what, we, what you would like to see next. Thank you.